this is going to be part of a series of videos where I go on to Reddit, go on to a sub which is um, centered around video editing and people posting questions on how to do different techniques and effects. I'm going to pick out one and basically do it, recreate it the best I can and explain it and um, maybe knock back and forth the different ways that it can be done because thing you know effects and techniques can be done in so many different ways so hopefully it'll uh, broaden the knowledge um, of the different ways things can be done so let's uh, go into reddit here's a sub called video editing um, and yeah Yeah, the in the yellow. How did they do that? They, these are probably more most relevant. So, how to color correcting thing. Want to edit the atomic breath of Godzilla to different colors like this? Okay, let's have a look. Is um, the color is changing along with the timeline? So green to yellow, purple, blue. It looks like a a hue. It looks like the pops with the hue. It's very dark in itself, the whole, apart from the colour, the frame, the imagery is really dark, so that would make something like this possible, because we're just altering the hue. You see there, apart from the red and the green, everything else in the, in the image is really dark, so when you alter the whole hue of the image, it's not going to affect the dark parts so it's something that's a lot lighter then the spill of the color will when you change the hue it will alter everything and just look not realistic really so i suppose this could be done with the hue just altering the hue in color correction and keyframing it so Put keyframe in, maybe you know, uh, twenty frames later, twenty-five frames. Put another keyframe in, and then alter the hue to a different color. Maybe go from um, the original yellow fire to a purple or a green, and then that will adjust the color wheel as you go down the timeline. So let's. Um, Let's get stuck into that. Well, what I'll look for first is I'll look for a sort of clip that I can use to demonstrate this. So we want some sort of fire or some like poignant light, a dominant light source going from from the source to wherever really. Um, there we go. So we'll just drag this into Premiere. There you go. Right, so we've got stream of light and let's see how it moves, quite slow motion. But you can always speed speed that up if you wanted to. So to change the hue and keyframe it so it's moving with the time. Um the easiest way to do this, I, I would suggest, is fast color corrector. So go into the effects and type in fast 
color corrector and drag that onto the clip. You could do it with luminary, luminary, what's it called? Lumetri, if you wanted to, but um, this is a lot more simplified. So that's the start of the clip and here's in the effects window, the fast color corrector uh, variables of what you can change. We'll go to the beginning of the clip and here's the hue angle. Click on that to create a keyframe. And that's the start of the clip. So, you know, the, the Godzilla breath was, hue was moving relatively smoothly. So not really fast, if you know what I mean. We'll stop it there. Uh, maybe, what's that? Like five seconds in, just over. And we will put another keyframe in by clicking that button and literally just drag this slider to the desired new hue and there's two keyframes starts yellow and it's adjusting you can see the color wheel adjusting from point to point and then it's going to stop because there's no further information to move to but we can change that by stopping the, the play bar add another key keyframe and doing the same again we'll go to a bit of a, a green so now we've got from yellow sort of base hue to purple and then to green if you wanted to keep one um one hue constant what you do is i've just highlighted that keyframe there which is the green and control c to copy that keyframe um, apple c on a mac and then go to wherever and control V Apple V and between those two keyframes obviously because it's going from the same keyframe to the same keyframe it's going to be the same so that's how you alter the hue of potentially Godzilla's breath <laughs> um, so yeah what I'm going to do now is render that off and hopefully you'll appreciate the explanation of how to do his, his query so yeah there's there's one that's um, adjusting the hue of a light source in um, in Premiere to animate with with the timeline basically with time um, one thing I'd yeah like I said like I pointed out is be mindful of the spill so as I said As I said, but majority of the image is dark, so it's um, it's not altering the hue of this color is not going to affect you know different well colors. Say if that building that skyscraper was in pure light, was in in daylight, whether it's a brown or whatever blue color, um, the hue will also alter that. So. You've got to be mindful over the whole light of, of the image. Um, and if there's faces that it's going to alter, alter the color of them as well, you know, you, you, you get loads of aliens <laughs> or it, you just got to be mindful of that. So, um, 
and if you wanted to do it that way you'd, you'd have to mask certain parts of the video off and um, just apply um, apply the keyframes to that but yeah so that's a relatively simple one um, I hope this helps thanks for watching